Good morning, Gracians. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Kenny and I serve at Grace Missional Communities. Today is the 20th day of the 40 days of prayer for our nation. This morning, we are referring to the passage in 2 Philippians chapter 2, verses 19 to 24. And the title for today's sharing is Proven and Approved. Let me read the verses. In verse 19, Apostle Paul says, But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you shortly, that I also may be encouraged when I know of your state. For I have no one like-minded who will sincerely care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are of Christ. But you know his proven character, that as a son with his father, he served with me in the gospel. Therefore, I hope to send him at once, as soon as I see how it goes with me. But I trust in the Lord that I myself shall also come shortly. Also, Paul would like to return to Philippi soon, but since he remained under house arrest in Rome, he would send Timothy as soon as he could. He wanted to send someone whom he approved and could be trusted to provide ministry to the people in Philippi. Paul went on to say that Timothy had been with him faithfully serving alongside and had his character proven in the finance of ministry trials. Timothy genuine care for others and focus on the things of Christ has set him apart as precious to him and to the church. For such a young man to receive such commendation from the apostle was indeed praiseworthy. Wouldn't you want to be commended by God and man as someone who can be trusted with the things of the Lord. Take heart as we continue in our service to Him and press through and press on amidst challenging circumstances, the Lord is proving our character to bring glory to His name. And you know, if we could fill our churches and families with this unselfish humility that propel them to actionable service with people who do not seek their own interests but the interests of others, we cannot begin to imagine the good we can do to those in our communities and see the extension of the kingdom of God. Would you this morning join me to pray for our prayer for ourselves and for our church? The prayer pointers will be on screen. Prayer pointer one, pray for God to prove us as worthy vessel for the master's use and to position us in areas that we will be able to affect others positively. Number two, pray for God to raise up in churches in Singapore with more men and women who have their characters proven, seeking things of the kingdom and loving the loss unto salvation. I will give you some time to pray over these items yourself before leading you in a prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for giving us examples in the Bible of men like Timothy and the Apostle Paul, who had their characters proven in the furnace of ministry challenges. Father, we ask for you to help us also as we go through times of testings and trials in our lives and ministry, and to hold on to your word and to your truth and stay the course in our service to you and at all times have the peace and understanding that you are in the midst of proving us to be vessels of honour, fit for the Master's use. We also pray for our churches in our nation, that men and women of character will lead the charge in moving the churches forward to fulfil the plans and purposes you have for them individually and for our nation. May revival arrive on our shores as your proven vessels seek you diligently and consistently. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Grace Every Morning. Do tune in to J333 online this evening at 8pm to join in the corporate prayer session together. 
God bless.